this video. This is what if Naruto had psychic powers. I'm sorry that I haven't posted much this weekend or anything lately. I just haven't been getting to it yet. I've been a little tired around. The last time I left off was in my god. Sorry about that, but every freaking time I make a video. So, last time, it was after the Zabazon and Kakashi fought. It ended about the same, but Naruto rescued Kakashi on his own. And they're at the bridge builder's place. Out the bridge builder's place. <laughs> Give me a second, oh my god. I'm inside, or no, I'm in a car actually, but let's get this started for real now. So it's being annoying outside and it's very windy. Where do I put this where I don't have to hold it the whole time? This word. Yeah, that should work. You guys should still hear me. But left off after Kakashi and Dot Rescue. The train would start. Train list of of them getting taught how to walk on trees. Of course, Naruto would try to skip it since he can technically like kind of fly if he wants to. Not like fly, fly, but he can like hover and all that, and move around in the air. But Kashi would still make him learn it, making him. But it's much easier for him to use it. Since he can stick to walls very easily by just grabbing of the tree with his chakra. So he would just get it immediately. And walking on water, he would also do it very quickly. So yeah. So Kakashi would tell him to train whatever you want and all that. And that's what Naruto would do. Naruto would just chain his telekinesis and all that, and in the forest, that's about it, and during his training of training his lightning, I would say Haku would come up to him, seeing him swing his hand, releasing lightning everywhere. Haku would ask him how he does that, and Naruto would say that he was born with ability like these, and that it just comes with some practice to unlock it. And of course, Haku would leave by saying, I'm actually a boy, and all that, and he would leave. Naruto would get back to the gang, and everything would go sort of the same. But whenever it's time for them to go to the bridge, whenever Haku and them attack, Naruto would actually be there instead of being asleep. So whenever it happens, it'll be Haku versus Naruto. With Naruto being pretty matched with Haku in speed. Or, I mean, Haku would not, cannot match Naruto in speed. So he, of course, speed with some and pretty much pummel him a couple times. But Haku unleashed his Jutsu Ice Mirror thing. And it would activate, trapping Naruto inside. And all that, or seemingly doing that, Sasuke would be trapped also. And that's whenever Haku with those sin bones. But it would be useless, Naruto would say to him, saying that I can stop all your attacks. And pushing out his hand, one of the mirror mirrors would move out of his way. And I can dispel your jutsu or make it useless. Taking his hand, putting on one of the ice mirrors, 
creating flames. It would start melting it, but you see as it reforms, then he intensifies the heat until it break open. And, yeah. Of course, he would break open where Hawkins is, since he can sense Hawkins' main body, wherever it is. And if he, he can see him whenever he moves, so he would have broke it, released Haku, grabbed him by the face, threw him with his telekinesis into the trees or into the ground off the bridge, and he would dash over there with his, like, telekinesis speed. I don't know what it, it's like. With his speed, pretty much. And he would throw his fist into his gut, which would beat Haku while breaking his mask. Seeing that as the dude that he saw yesterday. But that would be done. And he would go walking back to where, where Kakashi and the Marm. Kakashi's battle would be going the same. But whenever it comes to the Chidori, what would happen is Haku would get up and body, um, body flicker, is that what it's called? Or, yeah, he would pretty much get all the way over there, stopping it like he did, dying. And the same thing would happen of him, or of Zabaza taking down the gang leaders and all that. And yeah, this is the end of this uh, battle, you could say. It would still be called Naruto Bridge, or Naruto Bridge, yeah, something like that. And yeah, they would be heading back to the Leaf Village. At the Leaf Village, they'd be informed that the Chinese lands would come up, and that you guys were going to participate in it. So yeah, so of course they ask if they want to go Naruto and Sasuke would say yes, but Sakura or, or Hanata would be a little confused and she doesn't really want to go and all that, but of course she would since it's for Naruto in her mind so yeah so they would get ready for the training exams but Naruto would be walking talking to Kamahamaru and Kamahamaru would walk, start running backwards bumping into Konkuro with him Pretty much picking him up and choking him, sort of. But Naruto would stop him. And Naruto does this. Um, when if Naruto does this, Konkuro would be like, You try and start a fight. And he would say, Are you trying to start a war? Since this is the green. Uh, the grandson of the third Okage. So yeah. Of course, Gara will pop out calling Conqueror a disgrace and would take him back. They'll leave with Gara asking what Naruto's name is and he would say Naruto is a Maki. Gara would say that he will remember that. Going off. But of course, everything would sort of go the same until the training exams. With the Genjutsu being up, but Naruto would disperse it by pumping out chakra. From his body in one quick moment and it would automatically dispel everybody else's the fight would 
and all that. But it would come to Lee would not challenge Naruto to a fight. Since Team Guy has seen and worked with Naruto before. So they would know who he is and how strong he is and what his abilities are. So Neji wouldn't call him a failure and think that he's all stronger than him. He would think that he's really just a worthy opponent. And his abilities are special and unique. And all that. We would know that Naruto isn't the type of guy that would think he's better than everybody else. Just because he has something special about him. And all that. So there would be no fight between Sasuke and Lee. So yeah. But, of course, Neji would, like, despise um, Nata and all that for being weak and being a main family member. So, yeah. But, of course, they would go to the sec or the first actual phase. And all that, which will be the test. Naruto would pass it, or barely pass it. And all that. And this is where they would go off. The groups would be so, with the meaning, the members of, with the members of Shino, Ikamaru, or Shikamaru. And Sas or Sakura Haruno would be that team pretty much switching out with Hinata from the main canon. But of course, th the second phase of the exam would happen just the same. And yeah, this is where I'll probably leave it all. Sorry for like a short video, but it's only like three to two minutes. So goodbye.